On the same day, the government presented the Blue-Green Economy Budget with provisions for the protection of the wildlife as per international standards. The first attempt to protect Yala Block 1 has been reversed. Only 17 days after the introduction of new regulations to reduce the number of chiefs in the park, the decision has been overturned. The Ministry of Sustainable Development and Wildlife has decided to increase the number of safari jeeps entering the park to 500 a day. The Prime Minister had commissioned a report on the way forward to improve the overall wildlife tourism experience in Yala Block 1. The proposals had been approved. You may ask, what about this document? DWC officials to be empowered to enforce regulations without political backlash. This was the very first proposal that is written down here. Well, as you can see, that has gone out of the window from the very start. I would assume the political importance is to ensure that this resource goes on for perpetuity, that it is conserved, it is preserved, so that not only this generation, but future generations of people in the Yala vicinity, in the Tissamahara vicinity, benefit from Yala. At the moment, the way it is going, it's going to disappear in about 10 years.